Hello. Hello, everyone. Meryl and um, please. Okay. We here. We will be demonstrating the Kerbal Space Program. Yes, I found this game off of the YouTube's, and I watched a couple of videos. It looked really interesting. So this is the demo. I didn't actually buy it yet. I wanted to give it a shot before I wanted to commit to it. Um, so here we got the demo. Um, if today, if this video is really laggy, I'm very sorry about that. I have a horrible computer. Just quite horrible. Um, so I'm sorry for that. You can kind of see the lag right, right in here. You can see my mouse lagging. That's, that's pretty crazy. Um, but I got it as big as it could. It started as a very small screen, so I adjusted it. Uh, yeah. Um, so yep, yeah, got that figured out. I, I checked this out a little bit, um, earlier. Oh gosh, this is gonna be horrible. I'm, I'm very sorry about this, guys. That was kinda, that was kinda smooth. I like that. Um, but yeah. I thought this game was quite very interesting. So I'm gonna zoom I, I just had a little something going on. Um, but this planet is called Kerbin. And here we have our flight center, our space center. Um, here we have something called the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building. Um, right here, you can build like space planes and stuff, or just railway planes if you want to. So around Kerbin. Um, right here is like the space tracker. If you if you have any things in orbit, you can see them there, or on any other planets or something. That's taking a very long time. Um, this is the tracking station is what it's called. Um, as you can see, test awesomeness. That's the one I tried. I was standing by the launch. I haven't launched it yet. Or, I think I did. It just went very horribly. So, because I didn't know how to control the thing. But I think I do now. So it should work quite well. Maybe. Not making any promises. Um, but if we zoom out here, you can see that there's moon. It's not the moon. Remember, this is Kerbin. This is not Earth. This is Kerbin. Um, and, and on this... On this on this Kerbin planet, we have Kerbin people, and I'll show you them later what they look like. So this is Moon, their Moon, and they also have another Moon. Maybe not. Okay, that's in a, that's in a later version. Since this is a dem since this is a demo, they don't have um, much stuff available. So yeah, there's the Sun. Okay, so it's a very very simple solar system. And the next and the next updates, which didn't come with a demo. There's actually there was a huge solar system. Like there's another moon orbiting this. It's called Minmus. Um, and then out here, there's many other planets that that orbit the sun, and they have many moons. And they have um, there are different analogs. Like there's one up here. Now of course that would be Mercury. There's one way back here. There's Jupiter. Um, so that's really cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Can I cancel that? Hmm. Oh, I think I pressed this one. Back. Oh, I think that's the delete button of that launch. Okay. So, yeah. So, here we have the vehicle symbol building. Let me show you that real quick. Maybe. Come. It's almost there. Okay. What was that? That was weird. Okay. So, I will open my test that um, I got. Whoa. What is this? Okay. So, apparently they stalked me with a couple trips that I didn't realize. But this is a mine that I made. Um, I'll let you guys look at it. Load that up. I'm sorry if this is so slow. It gets it gets me frustrated a lot. So don't complain, please. Um, how do we zoom out? How do we zoom out? I don't even know. So I'm not even gonna try. Um, okay. So yes, we have these struts going up that will hold the rocket in place on the launch pad. Um, these are solid rocket launchers on the side to help us get up, get up there. Um. In the middle are liquid fuel um, rockets, and these are the fuel tanks. 
there's a little freeway coupler and then this is a separate stage after okay after these solid rocker solid rockets solid fuel ro I don't really know what to call it what are these called okay solid fuel boosters are out of fuel I will press a button and they will fall down to the ground and die <sighs> okay um, and then once these are out of fuel um, I'm gonna s separate this little thing right there and that's it. those are gonna fall um, and then there's another rocket right right in here in the shroud that you can't see so this will take take itself on its own and then um, once that's out of fuel well I don't think that can't get our fuel that's not an option okay um, so yeah that's not an option it can't run out of fuel because then we'll die um, so that's this is all supposed to help me get into orbit hopefully I don't expect very good results because I just made this um, but I'm hoping it will go into orbit then I can get out of orbit and come back down into a landing and landing this uh, this is another decoupler which th this cockpit will disconnect and that will launch off there's no rocket attached to this top part um, but yes I will come flying down and this is a parachute up here so I'll let that go and I will fall down safely hopefully very uh, I really hope this goes well if not do not blame me please uh, so we're gonna try that out um, go back because I think I already have the rocket there I just need to launch it see look at that, that look at all that leg right there look at that guy it says this exit down here what the crap okay yes please blame my computer it's horrible you can give me a new one that'll be nice too oh I say it remember okay did I even press it maybe I didn't maybe I'm stupid is it no yep I'm just stupid okay maybe it's not there this is a launch pod yep okay you just can't see it from out here which is kind of a problem wish you could is that a shadow? that's weird okay but we're gonna go test this I looked on Google I think I know what controls maybe maybe not guess we'll just I guess we'll see if not I will crash and burn okay anytime now okay I did press it this time um <coughs> okay here we go you can see the you can hear the sound glitch out so that's when you know you're almost there camera auto time warp one times yes in this game you can warp, you can um, put the put warp speed up so you don't have to spend all the time I've seen some videos where the how long you've been in space it says it right there once once you've done something um, some of them are like four days or something and just think if you had to do that in real life so that's why there's a time warp okay just so you guys know um, so when we turn so we have a better view oh that's so laggy holy crap I'm not gonna oh gosh okay then we can zoom out here if we wanted to um, okay so over here you could you would also be able to see it oh what's it doing I'm going down I think I think those um WASD keys I just pressed are starting to pick up stop it I don't want to do that okay I don't know but um also in the v there in the VAB there is these orange boxes off the side that's what these are um so you can either change them there or here but these are the stages that I'm going to be going through so right here um, this is the order that it's in. Um, when I press the spacebar, these these strut things are gonna let go, um, and these solid solid fuel boosters 
are going to launch. Okay, so that's going to go up like that, of course. Um, okay, what do we got here? Okay, okay. So, and once those run out of fuel, what, the, what it's going to do after I press the spacebar again is those um, the solid boosters are going to fall away. Use it. This one is about right there. Um, and then the liquid fuel is going to boost up. Um, okay. So, and when those are run out, this little one I'm going to press it again, and that that's going to be couple again. Um, and so that's going to fall away, and then this one here is the is the booster inside of the shroud that you can't see right now. Um, so when I, when I press the button, that will, that will launch. Um, and then um, to the final things, once that's out of fuel and I'm re-entering the atmosphere, hopefully, um, that's going to decouple up at the up, up at the top right there. This thing right there. So this cockpit is going to launch off. That, that's going to fall away. Um, and then the last one is the parachute. And that's going to boost up. Okay. So that's what we're hoping. Hopefully that does work. What is this? Sound? And these three buttons here, those are the brakes. I can't see what that says. Wait. Gears. Okay. Gears are up. I don't have gears, so that doesn't matter. What is this? Lights. Do I have lights? Okay, I don't. Um, because I don't have that version, I don't think. But right here is our rate of ascent or descent. And of course, this is how high we are. It says 87 because that's where the cockpit is. Why does that show up? Is that, is that abort? I think that's the abortion. Okay, over here is the gyroscope. That way we can. Um, so that way we can control where we're going. Over on this side is G-forces. Like when we're going down, we don't want our G-forces too high. Especially in the red, because that would be bad. This guy won't be so lucky. Oh, Jebediah Carmen. Look at that. Oh, that's what they look like, by the way. The Carmens. The Carmen. And here's the throttle, which I can control using... Maybe? Oh, there it goes. That is very laggy. Okay. So yeah, I can control that with shift and control. Um, where is this? Oh, that didn't help. Okay, so that's staging. Oh yeah, um, so this is, this is, this is where you can change modes. Like if you want to dock into a space station up there, which I could be doing in the future. If I do buy this game and continue to make these series, um, and then orbit map, which if we press M, then we can go to a map right here, and then this is how you see your orbit as you start as you start expanding it and eventually getting around carbon here. Okay, I still don't, I still don't get this button. Um, Okay, um, so those are our resources. Those are the, that's the liquid fuel and that's the solid fuel. Oxidizer, okay. Um, Mono propulsion. All right. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna press M again to maybe get. Out. Okay. Um, so we do have that. Yes. Here's Jebediah Kerman. I don't have a ladder. Okay. Wait one second. Let me. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let um, press escape, and flight, and flight, assembly building, let me put something in right, real quick, me a ladder, that's what I need. Okay. If I press the minus key, does that zoom me out? Maybe shift in minus key? Okay, nope. Um, oh well. Okay, so where's my hatch? I think that's it right there. Yes? Yes. Um, so, would it be in utility? It would.
some landing shreds, parachute, and uh, another ladder, I think. Yes. Um, can't see a thing. I wonder how you zoom in on this thing. Okay, I'm not actually see if that works. It probably won't, but I'm not planning on getting it um, out of my ship in space. So, save that. Exit. Down, 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 down. Tell me you broke it. Okay. Um, so, we're gonna. Yes. Load that. Sorry, it's taking so long. Okay. So, I'll let you know about this series. Hopefully, it's gonna be a series. Or maybe I could just be testing out and never not get it. But hopefully I do get it because it looks really cool. And I wanted to build like a space station and all that stuff. I think that would be so cool. So hopefully this is a series. And if it is, I, I am telling you guys... When, where am I? What? I'm telling you guys that I don't have any fancy video editing software on my computer because it would run slow anyway. And I would get frustrated pretty much throw my computer across the room. So, I'm not, I don't have that sort of stuff, so things may get boring if I'm like building a rocket and you may, be, you may want to see the design, but um, from the videos I've seen, people just get that stuff, so it could be boring, could not. Um, and also if I'm just in space, just doing some technical stuff, if that gets boring, but I would suggest just skipping up the video to something that, why does it keep going down like that? Um, that just, Oh yeah, I didn't say, show you guys. I'll wait, I'll get it out Um, but... Does it, like, skip up to a part more interesting? If that, if that, if you want to, like that. And... So I can just do that, because I don't, I can't, like, um, fast forward or cut through things like that. On second thought, maybe I can. <laughs> but, because I know YouTube has their own video editing software, which I could probably use. But I think that I think that video editing software is very confusing. Um, it's very weird, so I may or may not use it. But if it happens so that I won't use it, then you can just skip up in the video to a more interesting part. Okay, I just want to let you guys know that um, this right here is the atmosphere. So when we're going up, and up, and up, this little pointer here goes to the left, left, left until we're all the way out of the atmosphere. This, this shows the difference between the thicker part of the atmosphere, the more middle, and the more lower, and then pretty much out of the atmosphere. And once we're up to the very left line, then we're out of the atmosphere and we can float. I like floating. Um, and we're in orbit. Now, now, when we get there, it doesn't mean we're in orbit. We're just pretty high from the atmosphere. Because we could just go back down. Uh, what was this again? Gears. Okay. Um, anything else I didn't show you? Okay. Let me show you IVA. That's like the enter. So you can see everything inside. Which is pretty cool. Actually, if I hold down shift and that puts the throttle up, you can see that go up. Which I think is really cool. Um, there's the gyroscope right there. You can see that we're wobbly. Just by that thing moving everywhere. You can see that it's like kind of tilting and stuff. Um, but if you look here, you can see that moving. I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, there's the atmosphere indicator right there, there's the speed, um, that's the altitude, I think. Um, I do not know how I moved down, whoa, oh, I didn't mean to do that, um, like, I don't know how to move around the car, dang it, I should have looked that up, um, but too late now, nope, that's not it. Oh, but I can just zoom out. RCS. Oh, can I press that one? That'd be cool. Um, so if I press R, that activates RCS. Oh, by the way, um, just so you guys know about some things, RCS. Do I know how to get out of this view? Oh crap. Um, M, M, maybe? No. Okay. It's gonna be a problem. I do not know how to get to the IBA. 
I mean, I don't, I don't know how to get out of the IVA, so this could be a problem. How long have I been going? Does anybody know? Well, you've, you've already just looked over how long the video has been so far, but you can't tell me that, can you? That is unfortunate. Uh, I don't know how long we've been going. Excuse my getting out of the game. This is my YouTube video that I've been watching, by the way. My YouTube series is 837. Uh, dang it, I don't know when I started. Wait, 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 wait. You guys don't see this. 20 minutes. It hasn't been that long. Dang. Okay. Um. I'm sorry. Let me let me just look this up real quick. You can watch me look this up. This is a very weird gaming video right now. I bet nobody's done this before. Um. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. You can listen. You can listen to my amazing music while I search this up. Ba da 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 ba um, how do I get out of IVA view and Kerbal Space Program? I know you can't see any typing this stuff because it's really slow. It's not that is the audio and video. Dang it, did I, did it not just type anything? I just typed. Dang it. Um, how? Come on. Maybe. Do I get out of the IVA view? And Kerbal Space Program. That's so slow. Come on, come on, come on. Intravehicular activity. Um, let's check this out, Wiki. Let's check this Wikipedia out. I know this is a really weird gaming video that you're watching. <laughs> Um, but I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I c I'm pro I could just cut this out, but again, I will say that the YouTube video editor is weird. So maybe, maybe not. Oh, here we got all the things right here. So maybe it is good that you saw all this vertical speed. Oh, that's my vertical speed. Okay, there's my angle, height, radar altitude. Atmosphere, nav ball, speed. Oh, that's my speed. Um, monitor, so you can see the RCS, SAS stage. I don't know what that is because it's really green. But okay. Pitch, roll, yaw. Yaw, man, yaw. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Rotations. Okay, that's rotation. What is that green one? Is that just random green? What the crap? Okay, that's weird. Speed is shown in meters per second. Nav ball looks and works exactly the normal nav ball. However, in IVA mood, we can zoom in on the nav ball. Line position alignment difficult to accomplish with the third person interface. Um. Okay, there we go. It doesn't show me in controls. Okay, so let me go back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Hey, Facebook has two navigation. I'll check it later so you guys don't see my actual Facebook so you don't look. So you're not creeping on me, because that would be weird. Yes, yes, it would. So we're going to key binding. Yes. Okay. That was hot. My, I mean, I mean, my breath was hot. That was kind of weird. Oh, okay. Um. So no, no, not talking. EVA and those. Not BAB. Do they not have IVA on here? Um. Dang it, it's not beyond you. Err, okay, that's annoying. We don't have IVA on this key bindings page. How long have we been going? I'm just gonna check this. Sorry for letting you see my recording software. I'm 24 minutes. It's kinda cheap. It, it was a free recording software. Yes, I am a cheap guy. Playing the game in IVA view. Press. Oh! Okay, so let's try this. I'm really sorry, guys. Oh, dang, I don't want to press that. Okay. So, C. 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 
see what I did there, man. Okay. Um. Is that going up? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Go. Go. Cool. Okay. So for press C. Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm extremely sorry about that. I know I've said that like ten times. But yes, it seems to be a problem if we don't know how to control this vehicle. Oh, um, so I can't promise that I can get back in this thing, but this is EVA extra vehicular activities. Um, but if we look at this, yes, my guy is out of his rocket. I don't want to do that. If we go down, maybe go down. Yes. Cool. Cool. Let's just hop off. And let's just fall. Holy crap, he's going fast. Ouch! 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 Oh no. Can, can I get back up? Go! Oh, that's so slow. Uh, oh, that's gonna hurt. Ouch! You okay? Okay. So, this is, this, this, this is a Kerbal. This is Jebediah Common. Um, so if we... Oh, it's so slow. So if we zoom in on him, you can see his, you can see his facial present jump. Whee! 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 I heard in the next update that, um, their facial expressions are a lot better. Like when you jump, they, they like, have a big grin on their face. It's pretty cool. Or they stick their tongue out or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm probably going to have to get out of this and load this again. Like this rocket. Because I cannot get, get him back up there. That will be literally impossible unless I climb um, this strut right here. Which I don't think this little Kerbal guy can do that. So. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do. What, 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 what we're going to do. What, what, what. What, what we're gonna do? Okay, I'm um, sorry. Um, let's go over here. Let's go up. We have a little hole that we can walk down. Dang, that is so slow. So we walk down the full pathway. Pretty cool, yes. That is so slow. Okay, so we're gonna end this flight since I can't get back up there. We're actually gonna fly this thing for once. I just wanted to show you all the um, neat things. Flight events, Jebediah Kerman from Test Awesomeness went on EVA. Extra vehicular activities. That's what that stands for. Um, IVA stands for intra vehicular activities. <sighs> then you just have our, no, our normal. Our normal thing? Boring. Is this loading or something? Okay. What the? What I forget? Oh, I must have pressed restart flight. Huh. Okay, that works, yeah. That's what I wanted anyway. Okay. So let me see if I can do this. Okay, it doesn't work, because we're like parked. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, sorry, I had to stretch. Um, we're going to press T, because that's our SAS. We want that on. I don't have an SAS, apparently. Because there's nothing going on in my staging. Hmm. Okay. That might be a problem. But we will try it without. We, will defi we definitely will. Okay, it doesn't change anything if we turn off. Um, so R is RCS. And those little, these little things right here. Um, why, why would you do that to me? Um, you see that thing right on the ladder? That's an R. That's one of the RCS pods. Like when we're up in orbit and stuff, um, those would those will help me like turn around and stuff. Like the their little jets, got tiny jets. Uh, right, right above them is the fuel for them. So we have that if we need it. 
So, I've been spending way too long just explaining this um, game. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to launch this thing. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we you so certainly try. Um, so we might as well have a countdown since we're at KSP, yeah, Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so like NASA, but much smaller. Um, before we do that, I keep stalling. But before we do that, um, like in the very and the most recently updated version, they have so much stuff. They really do. You you can dock on a space station. You can take a rover to the moon and drive around on it. It's so cool. That's why I'm really interested in it. Okay, but finally getting to this launch. Okay, so I have the countdown. Five. The solid rocket boosters are kind of start going right when I say. Maybe, maybe. Five, four, three, two, turn out, one, go. Okay, I have no idea how to control this thing. Holy crap. No! Yeah, I'm gonna need some SAS. Holy crap, this is gonna go horribly wrong. Might as well have that on even when we don't have anything. Okay? So, as you can see, we have our solid fuel right there. Um, we are overheating, but I don't care that much. Because they're gonna run out of fuel before they overheat. Um, we are going at a very um, drastic angle, which Jebediah is happy as can be. I have no idea why. That's really weird. Um, even though his rocket is pretty much going to H. Um, so I don't know how to control this gyroscope. I really don't. I'm going really to figure that out. I have no idea how to control this gyroscope. Oh! Crap! Um, throttle up. Maybe. I'm going throttle up. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's that's a good sign. Yes. Um, let's put it a little lower. Okay. Let's do that. I know how to control this thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, this is going horribly wrong, but we will deal with it for now. Stop spinning. Stop rolling. Stop it. Are you stopping? I think you... <gasps> you listen to me. What? What the crap is it doing? <laughs> Which way does this go? Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, this way? No? Um, what does this do? That, that turns it. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'm getting the hang of it. Just maybe. Um, let's go up like... What, what is it doing? Stop it! <laughs> okay, we've got a decent amount of fuel left. Um, we're gonna turn this around thing. And it's not working. Okay. Um, so, I have no idea how to control this thing. Yes. This might be a problem. At least in the atmosphere. See, I'm, I'm actually pointing to the screen. You can't see my finger. <laughs> um... Yes, my many mistakes. Jebediah is really ex extremely happy. I have no idea why. Look at that smile. He's, he's, he's so happy. Oh, I'm glad he is. I'm glad he's having a good time. Um, even though... I'm not... Well, one could debate on if one is having a good time or not. Um, I forgot how to work to I just realized that. But I don't need it right now anyway, because I'm going up. Oh. Technically, I'm going to the side, but we could say, well, let me turn this off, maybe that can help. Uh, okay, go now? Maybe? Maybe? Oh, that turns so much easier. Holy crap, that is amazing. Stop! Oh, too much, too much. Stop it! Stop it! No! No! Am I pressing it? No, I'm pressing the wrong button. That is great. Stop going down! Oh crap, now it's going down. That is not good. Okay, 
So I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna pump my throttle down. Holy crap, that. Oh! Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Holy crap. Holy crap. Let's see what this does. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's not good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so disaster. <laughs> okay. Parachute. Why not? Okay. Rocket, please. Get away from me. Oh crap, that's not. Oh, don't burn my parachute. Don't burn my parachute. I'll kill you. Oh gosh. Let go. Let, why is that letting go? Let go of that rocket. I probably should have let the rocket not um, start going. Probably wasn't like this idea. But we will try our best to land. At least in the splashdown. Um, I don't know how good that rocket's gonna be to us. I wish I had. Oh, as you can see, um, we're coming to the. No, oh, that's slowing down now. Okay, yeah, that works. Well, um, okay, now we're speeding up again. Um, now we're slowing down. Must be the rocket, like, pushing us down, pushing us up. It's very rock polar right now. Um, but we will see what it does when we get nearer to the ocean. See, you can see up here, there's the different warp speeds. Oh! No, we missed it! There, look at this, look at this. It's like a missile. Oh my gosh. Test awesomeness debris. Okay, watch that splash down. Ah, crap, wrong way! Ah. Okay, we get to see it. Now that goes. It's actually not really that laggy for any sidebar, is there? Uh, that parachute deploys. And we are safe and sound. Jebediah is very happy. He is very happy indeed. IVA. We can't see him that much, but... Yeah, he doesn't get that much of a view. At all. I wonder if... how. Oh. I want to know how you get to turn this around. Oh, there we go. You you have the right click, and then you can there there there's that window. That's about it. Okay, so press C. So we we have a nice little splash down here. Okay, so that rocket failed epically. I got I pretty much the only thing is I gotta figure out how to control this gyroscope. I think I was doing good at the beginning, but my SAS was on, so it was disrupting my feed. No, Jibba Dye is like a whoa face. She's like, whoa, this is kind of crazy. I ain't even going to go into space. This, this is, no. He's sad. He's sad now that he didn't get to go into space. I feel sorry for him. And you guys, the crap is that? Is that a glitch? No. Nope. Make any sense. Okay. Splash down! Up oh, wrong way. Yeah, that's weird. I sh that maybe that's the equator. I have no idea. It's like inverted, I don't like it. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. And we are splashing down very, very soon. Okay. That, that made two splashes. That make much sense. But okay. What, is, what does this do? Tell me? I think that just means it's gone. Um, okay. So, well, oh, it's tipped over. Oh, can, can I, like, move it around? Oh, <gasps> disco, disco, disco. Oh, yeah, disco. It's flashing all over us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This would look more impressive on land. But here you go. Roll, roll, roll. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, no. He's breaking up the man. Okay, so I thought I would entertain you like that in flight. In flight. Um. What the? Dang. Oh, 
Oh wow. Oh my god, that's not good. Okay, so lift off. Separation of stage five confirmed. Separation of stage four confirmed. Oh, that's not good. Parachute. The parachute was damaged by the engine exhaust. But it looks like parachute was fine. Huh, that's weird. Maybe that's why my SAS was. Okay, no. It was definitely working. There just wasn't anything on it. I don't know why the SAS wasn't working. It wasn't showing anything on the side. She ran like a blue box next to it or something. Okay, one pod. The actual. The pod itself was damaged by engine exhaust. Fuel tank was damaged by engine exhaust. The decoupler was damaged by engine exhaust. Fuel tank was damaged by engine exhaust. RCS fuel tank was damaged by engine exhaust. Fuel tank was damaged by engine exhaust. Separation of stage 2 confirmed. Deck decoupler splashed down hard and was destroyed. RCS module splashed down hard and was destroyed. RCS fuel tank splashed down hard and was destroyed. The fuel engine splashed down hard and was destroyed. Fuel tank splashed down hard and was destroyed. Stack decoupler splashed down hard and was destroyed. Stack truck coupler splashed down and was destroyed. Yes. Yes, it was. Um, so right here we can see total mission time 4 minutes and 21 seconds. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> Highest altitude achieved 6,767 meters. Highest speed achieved 379 meters a second. High speed over land 375 meters per second. Ground distance covered 23,498 meters. Total distance traveled 31,170 meters. Most G. That's a weird way spelled G force. Uh, I just thought it would be like a G and then force. But apparently not. Most G force endured 4.8 G's. Yep. Yeah. And if you just heard the sound, that was me getting a Facebook notification. So disregard that. Um, we will go to the field and we'll build them. Or we could. Mm, I could be getting to the end of my video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some quick, quick things on that. Jebediah Kerman survived, so that's good. So maybe we'll see him on the next flight. So I'm excited about that because I, I like Jebediah. I've seen him in um, many videos, so kind of like him. I'm already attached to him, even though I. Uh, I've just met him. It's like we've known each other forever. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Awesome possum. Okay. Um, yes, I did just did, I just did say awesome possum. So, but you're going to have to deal with it because I, 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 I like that special crew. Oh, the signs. Oh, that's, that's nothing in science. Okay. Utility. Let me show you guys some of the parts. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. You can use a nose cone and winglets and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, structural. Um, there's those, um, the launch stability enhancers, these things right here. Um, this is what I use to decouple the solid fuel boosters. This way, you decouple to, um, Okay, my cousin is playing something. Um, this is what I use to decouple everything else. This is what this is what I I use. I'll show you. Um, this is this thing right there that separated off into three different pockets. And these are strut connectors. I didn't use any of those because I didn't need it. But this is you can connect them to parts for extra support. Control. This is an SAS module. This is one of the RCS box, and that's another SAS module. <coughs> I found a line by this. That's weird. Okay. Apparently, this was found lying by the side of the road. Very weird. Whatever you choose to call it makes the ship stop spinning around. Okay. Um. So yeah. For some reason, my SAS wasn't working well, so I gotta. Figure out what went wrong with that. Uh, what was I about to say? I was thinking of something. Never mind. Okay. Um, these are fuel ducts. So, if you want certain liquid fuel engines to share fuel, you can connect one of them to the other one. Um, 
so they can share fuel. So that was really cool. I just got a text message. Um, this is a fuel tank. Of course, it's any other fuel tank. I didn't use them in this one. I use this longer one. Um, but that's another fuel tank. Some boosters. There's one liquid fuel engine. There's another liquid fuel engine. This one's more powerful over here. And there's another liquid fuel engine. That one's not that powerful. Um, this is... Actually, I don't know what this is. It's a monopropellant tank. Despite its fanciful name, the Stratus V is quite simple. A small radio, radially attachable... Oh, it's an RCS tank. Okay, I did not know that. Nice to know. Oh, uh, there's an RCS fuel tank. And there's a solid fuel boost. Those things right there. Um, and last but not least, pods. I only have one pod right now. Because it's in the demo. And that's the one I have up there. Right there. Yep. Didn't make a shift here, don't you? Y utility? Oh yeah, so this is the ladder. This is the landing struts if you want to land on the moon or another planet. It's parachute and this is a ladder. Yeah. Oh, this is a telescoping ladder. Um, in the newer version, they do have landing struts. Because I know, I know these ones in some of these that I watch, they are very, very weak. And even if you approach a planet or a moon on very, very little speed, they still tend to break. So they're, um, in the newer version, there are more heavy-duty struts that you can use and are much better. So, yeah. Um, so hopefully I can get this game and show you guys that. So I wanted to show you guys all of that. I really want to get this game. Um, I think it will be really fun. I need to get my rocket science down. See what I need to do to make this rocket work. I mostly need to work on my gyroscope skills. Because, <laughs> as you all saw, I'm pretty bad at it. So, I'm going to see how long I've been making this video. Come on, that's why. Go up. Yep, that's what I want. Debut. 47 minutes. Okay, that's a little long. But, we can deal with it. Hopefully, you've watched all of this. And I appreciate, I really appreciate it if you do. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm, I've recently started, what is going on? Okay, I've recently started up, up um, this YouTube channel. And I'm really hoping I can get some subscribers. And yeah. So, thanks for watching. And I, this will probably be a series, because I really want to get this game. Um... So yeah, I will see all of you later. Um, eat some bananas and drink some Sprite. Goodbye forever.